I have a little girl that came in here. She says, why are you making a hidey hide? And that's what it became for me, a hidey hide. We all have our own separate universes, our own worlds that we create. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to create um, a dome out of many different worlds that are intersecting with each other. When I started planning this, when I had this idea, I have a painting, um, it's called Painters Making the World, and I have people there that creating something, they're making something out of, out of themselves. They, they're pulling stuff out of the heart and making the world out of themselves. So this was the first initial idea. I think we have to have this um, story component in there because the stories are what makes the human dome. I created a structure and on that structure, I started to just grow walls. I was growing them naturally, uh, piece of fabric by piece of fabric, dyeing, um, painting on them, um, writing on them, doing all different kinds of layers that um, kind of represent what humanity does, to th what we do to things around us. We make imprints. I ask two questions. I ask people what makes them happy, and then I ask them uh, what is their biggest fear. So from happiness to fear is two very strong emotions. This is the clock that resembles the clock I, rem I remember when I was a little girl. But I felt uh, I have to talk about time and how time passes. Uh, both of my parents passed away and I wanted to do something to commemorate. This is the, I looked at the picture when they were young and just married and they were just so beautiful. It's called the, the, the dragon of time that is eating everything. This is actually a working clock. I'm gonna put a battery in there and it will tick, it will make movements as a real clock would do. I didn't really know what I'm going to do about the floor. I didn't want it to be uh, kind of a, a gallery floor. It was just too sterile and too, too polished, too good. So we created this carpet uh, painting event when uh, everybody came and they uh, dipped their feet in paint and they did uh, dancing, walking, um, I got some music. It was quite entertaining, I think. <laughs> I really liked when the kids came and some were hesitant. They started and they didn't want to go through that, but then they reconsidered. And th those are the kids who were the most enthusiastic, didn't want to leave. <laughs> the floor is important because we need to realize as we're walking through life, we're leaving footprints. Everybody leaves a footprint and it could be a, a very light and brief footprint and it could be a heavy one and some people walk around a lot and some people just go straight and some people dance. A lot of elements in this dome has to do with flight, uh, birds, butterflies, um, I use feathers, I use things that represent flying and I think that has to do with spirit and your um, um, kind of flying over and seeing the earth underneath and um, I, I think that's, that's a big part of it that the skies and the, and the earth um, connected by flight. As you go higher in the dome the fabrics become lighter and they become naturally dyed. I went to uh, a workshop in uh, St. Louis. This was with the artist who works with people on natural dyeing, shibori, uh, indigo, all these processes that you can work on um, to change fabrics without chemicals. I wanted to learn a little more and get more knowledge in this area so I can offer classes. I want to do classes here and especially for kids. I want them to understand there is not only um, uh, paints and chemicals you can use but
plants, uh, grass, uh, nuts, uh, bark, uh, different kinds of even bugs. You can crush bugs and make paint. This is part of the grant. I am hoping to get it back in the form of classes, workshops, uh, camps with the kids. Everybody have a story. Even people who think they don't, I think they have to let the story out. And that's what I was trying to help, to let the story out.